back everybody to our Unity 3D tutorial and today we're going to sit down and fix our car up a little bit so we can actually start playing multiplayer with it. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into Unity. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and grab our car. We're going to get the prefab. Uh, we put it in resources, car, and we'll just go ahead and we'll drop it anywhere we want here. We'll have to lift it up a bit. And the first thing I'm actually going to work on are our wheel colliders. This has nothing to do with multiplayer, but it was something I noticed in uh, video number two, I believe it was, when I was looking at the wheels. The numbers were so much bigger than I remember setting up down here. And the other day I was going through and I noticed that uh, <laughs> this scale should be one, but we can't just go ahead and just make it one. As you notice, the tires get really freaky. So we'll go ahead and put those back. It's pretty simple to fix. We're just gonna go ahead I'm actually going to rename this now too to Tire with a capital R. Just drag it out. We'll lose our prefab. Come over here, rescale. I guess we could probably leave it there and... Where did my tire go? Ah, it's up here. Uh, I wonder if we could just go... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I was hoping these were all ones. But then I'm just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for all the other tires. And... Uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so we've got all of our wheels at one, 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 or just three ones, and your tires should be scaled down to their proper size as well. Uh, the next thing you're gonna have to do is actually fix the radius here. As you can see, I've got some pretty big wheel colliders. But that's pretty simple. You just scale it down to you find the right number. I don't remember what it was on my other car when I was looking at it, but it was pretty small. So I'll just zoom in. Yeah. Looks like I hit it first time. Uh, so we'll 0.35. Uh, yeah, I'll just copy it. You could just copy all of them. Or as some people like to do, they like to do it. They point it out, do them all at the same time. Well, we're going to have to switch that first one back. Uh, actually, no, we can just select them all. And just do 0.35. There we go. All of them are done at once. Pretty snazzy. Uh, we are going to have to play around with the suspension as well. And right, here we go. And again, like I said before, this is really just a matter of your personal taste. Uh, how do you want the car you're making to react? And I apparently just dragged the wheels up. <laughs> Got to drag the whole car up. And then... Grab all the wheels and we'll adjust the suspension distance. Whoops, I want some. I'm not 100% sure how I want it to work just yet. And like I said before, these are just values you're just going to play with. And again, to reiterate some of these other values, uh, well, mostly ones we were looking at later are the, the stiffness factors. Uh, the lower the number, the more your car is going to slide around, sideways or forward. Um, I don't want quite that much. Come on. Well, I'll have to find the magic number that I want for my car later. Right about there. And if go ahead, hit play, watch it drop in. A little bit of a bounce to it. Uh, we're going to have to lower our, our tire a little bit to, so it's not floating. And that's something we'll work on next. Uh, <laughs> there's our car from um, joining the network coming in. That's fine. We're not going to play around with that right now. We're just going to work on the car. So let's go. We'll stop this. The next thing I'm going to do is add some tags. I want to actually be able to tag our player as player. But I also want to have another tag for our network player. And I'm just going to call that network player. There we go. Set that down. Um... When we get into our more advanced spawning system, we're going to go ahead and have uh, different prefabs to spawn. But I think for now, we'll just do like everyone else does and just basically turn things on and off or remove things. Well, we'll just turn them off. Uh, but I personally don't like having the same prefab simply because I don't want to have things on game objects. Even if they're turned off, I just don't like them being there. But for now, I'm going to keep my player tagged as player. Uh, the reason why we want this is because eventually we're going to have our nice uh, follow floaty type camera and it's going to latch on to whatever car is in the scene or whatever item is in the scene. 
that's tagged as player. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and leave the camera on our car, which is tagged player, just to make sure I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Uh, let's do this out, I like to have a clear console. All right, so we've got that. Um, the next thing I wanna do, I guess actually start, I guess we'll just turn some of these components off. That'll be the easiest way to start off. And let me grab the website. For those that are following along with the, the course on the website, uh, we're still in the basic stuff. There's a few more that we're gonna be doing in the basics. Not much more, actually, it'll be less than 10. But when we start moving into the immediate and the advanced stuff, this is where we're gonna start building our uh, spotting system. So up until we get there, everything I really want to keep about as simple as possible so that it's just easy to incorporate into any game you want. So let's go ahead, we'll jump back in and let's just start going down and see what we got here. So the, a lot of these things that we do keep, we're gonna be tweaking anyway. Uh, Ridge of body we'll leave on. We'll turn the motor script off. This is the one with our player input, correct? Yep. Uh, we still haven't added axles to the car yet. Uh, we'll be getting to that. Uh, we're gonna keep the view. We'll have to come over to the wheels. Uh, the wheel collider, um, we're gonna keep that. Well, we don't really need to keep it for a network car. But we'll do the absolute minimum that we have to for now. So the wheel script. I would keep the wheel script simply because, well, if we keep the wheel script, we need to keep the collider. Um, we don't really need the wheel collider on network cars. But I think we'll keep it for now because it's not going to interfere with anything. It doesn't, there's no update or anything in there. Uh, the tire, I don't think we've actually added a script there yet. Nope, don't care about the visuals. So body, again, just visuals visuals and the main camera um, I guess we could just turn this off I kind of want to make a separate prefab now and just spawn that but let's keep it simple one prefab now, I do want to point out that well you need to switch over here uh, on the photon site they do have some tutorials and one of the really good ones I think it might have actually been one of the first ones out as uh, the Marco Polo one I definitely recommend reading through it follow along they do have an asset package on the unity store as well but I'm gonna be following this, um, see, syncing our position. Uh, this method for getting our characters. If we come down here for fighting for control, uh, this is pretty much the part we're at right now. So it says just to disable the character controller, the camera components, yada, yada, yada. And this seems to be the, the, the basic way that everyone gets started with it. So this is what we're gonna follow. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump into our network player script and I guess we're gonna need a camera first. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a public uh, game objects. I just wanna turn everything on the camera off and I'm just gonna call it my camera. And of course we'll have to assign this script and turn the camera off and the, assign the camera. So we'll grab network player, drop them on, come down my camera right here and we'll hit apply just to make sure I don't forget later on. Uh, nothing to worry about there. So next let's go ahead and start taking a look to see what we have to turn off. So I'm gonna start off with the base part, the car. Um, I've got two for some reason. Let's remove one. Not sure that happened, but anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll remove one. Uh, we're gonna leave this on. We'll go ahead, we need to leave the photon view on. We'll be changing it over later to what it's watching, but not right now. Well, we'll shrink that down. The motor script we will have to turn off on our network, whoops, for our network player, because we don't want to be moving them around. So we'll have to grab that as well. Uh, so public, and what was it, motor? Yeah, let's just actually use lowercase names uh, we'll have to expand this now he wants his motor actually for components we don't have to we can just do this and start so get component 
the component we want is motor and we'll just say enable is equal true I always get confused game objects you well we'll add this here too In game objects you have the set active <laughs> so we're gonna say my camera dot set active then inside of here we'll say false so this turns the whole game object off uh, the reason why I do this is because sometimes when I'm trying to just turn the camera itself off this component well first off you've got all the rest on but sometimes it just doesn't seem to turn off for me for some reason but if I go ahead and just turn the whole thing off ah uh, I've had no problem with it go ahead and let me know down below in the comments if you've had similar experiences with it I don't know why it's just in unity 4.6 that I've been trying this and having that problem but anyway so we've got the camera we got the motor uh, rigid body we might go ahead and change some values in there but for now we'll go ahead well it's probably going to be bouncing around isn't it well I want to try it with the, the physics on it I think we're going to want to get rid of all the physics off of it but we'll go ahead we'll leave that on for now and let's come down to the wheels uh, like I said before I'm going to leave these on I don't think it's going to cause that big of a problem a like part of me does want to get rid of the wheel colliders but that means I have to get rid of my script as well. We'll leave them for now. We'll test it out. And nothing on the tires. Nothing on the body or the window. All right, so actually there's just two things to turn off. So let's go ahead and we'll jump back into our script. And the next part's actually pretty cool. We'll get rid of the update for now. We don't need it. That's not the cool part though. <laughs> Photon comes with a special type of mono behavior. So if we come up here into the namespace, well, not the namespace, sorry, what it's um, implementing. We can actually type in Photon, and you have Photon Network, and I believe it was just Photon, wasn't it? Ah, there we go. Spelt it wrong. And we actually have a, a pun behavior and a mono behavior. We're actually going to take the mono behavior. And this acts exactly like the regular mono behaviors that you're used to using, uh, except it has some implementation for the network. And the first one we're going to be taking a look at is called is mine. Now this photon view that we added to our car right here. Let's shrink it down right here. <laughs> uh, this gives us the property of is mine. So let's go ahead and let's, we're going to use that to check to see if this is our car. And if it is, let's go ahead. This is actually should be true. And if it is our car, this is what we want to do. We want to turn these things on. And let me just make sure I got that camera off. Actually, a pretty wide view. Let's go ahead. We'll switch this. 60 by 9 is the standard. And we'll go ahead. We'll turn that off. And let's make sure my motor's off as well. It is. Hit apply. And we'll do that if block right here. So we're going to say if photon view dot is mine so saying you know if this is the game object that we are controlling and I'm also going to stick an else in here I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything in there just yet but we're going to go ahead and leave it there so if this is our car we're going to go ahead turn on our camera and turn on our motor so let's go ahead we'll go back into unity I'm going to apply that just in case I screwed it up. And then we'll get rid of it. Save the scene just in case you go boom. And let's do another build. Uh, everything looks good here. And I'm going to have to shrink this down to be able to get both on the screen at the same time. And I'm probably actually going to have to move this. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here and we'll go ahead where'd it go where where'd my game go too many screens all right so what do we call it we called it vvr there it is so we'll come over here i'm gonna make it pretty small and i want full screen i didn't mean to we'll go ahead we'll quit that try it again windowed And it's going to flash like that. We don't have any cameras or anything else set up. So we've got this. Go ahead. We'll start mine up. 
and <laughs> I fall. But if we look over here, uh, we're gonna have to change that spawn point so we don't keep crashing. But we are now only controlling one car. Woohoo! Uh, we gotta fix it up so that we're not crashing though. Uh, there's a couple ways. A couple ways we can do that. If you notice the car, the camera swings around a bit. It's because the car is tilting. Let me go ahead and see if we can't get it over here into the view. And you'll see how the car is bouncing back and forth. But we're going to have to change the... Oh, I got too much speed. <laughs> we're going to be taking care of that in the next video on how to stabilize our car. Uh, but yeah, we're now controlling one car. Let's do a quick tweak on the spawn point so that we don't end up um, on top of each other and wiping out like that. It actually looks like we're already going over our limit. So let's go ahead. We'll we'll try to fit that in tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I do want to go ahead and work on the physics so our car isn't so tippy, doesn't flip over. And if it does flip over, we have a way to have it right itself. But um, yeah, that's it right now. We got our character, or sorry, our car spawning over the network. We control it. We want to control one car. I guess I'll see you in one of the next videos. Bye-bye.